Hi there, how are you doing? It's good to see you again. I've got another wonderful story for us. We're learning all about the body. And this story is special because it talks about viruses and our body's ability to fight those viruses. So come on, get close. It's Glamma Dr. Tony and I've got a story just for you. And this one is called Doc to Doc, Tony and Jace learn about viruses. Are you ready? All right, let's get started then. Doc to Doc, Tony and Jace learn all about viruses. At choo! Jace sat up in bed holding a box of tissues. Tony threw his head under his pillow. Ew, Jace, cover your mouth when you sneeze. You're going to get everyone sick. Jace wiped his nose with the tissue. I am not. It's just a sneeze. Debbie sat on the floor in her brother's bedroom playing video games. Yes, you are, Jace. That's how viruses spread. <laughs> Tony peeked his head out from under the pillow and turned to his sister. Viruses? What in the world are you talking about, Debbie? Don't listen to her, Tony J said. She just made that up. There's Tony and Jace and Debbie. He's sneezing <laughs> and he's hiding. Debbie's gonna teach us a little bit about viruses, I think, because she knows something about them. Just then, mom walked into the bedroom with a surgical mask. Do you know what a surgical mask is? Oh, it's like this. A surgical mask covers your nose and your mouth. And so mom walked into the room with a surgical mask in her hand. Sounds like someone has a virus. Tony's eyes opened wide in amazement. What? Debbie was right? Viruses are real? Mom let out a small laugh and ruffled his hair. Yep. Germs are as real as you and me. What are germs? asked Jace. Germs are just another word for viruses and bacteria that can make us feel sick, she answered. Here, Jace, try this on. If you leave the house, make sure you wear a mask. <laughs> it can help stop the virus from spreading to other people when you cough or sneeze. Hmm, okay, Jace replied as he put the mask on. Mom, before you go, can you teach us about viruses? Gently rubbing his head, she replied, I'm sorry, son. I have patients waiting for me in the clinic, but I know who can teach you. Do you know who? Debbie. <laughs> what? As if they had planned it, the brothers looked at each other in confusion and said, Debbie? Debbie crossed her arms over her chest with a big grin on her face. Yep, that's me, she said. <laughs> you go ahead to work, Mom. I'll teach these kids a thing or two about viruses. Mom gave Jace a kiss on the head, and as she walked out of the door, she said, I'm sure you will, sweetheart. <laughs> Okay, children. <laughs> Debbie's getting started. Okay, children, class is in session. Debbie put down the video game controller and pushed a button on the television. Let's talk about viruses. Okay, Debbie, Jay said. I'm all ears and ready to learn. All ears, she replied. <laughs> what does that mean? It means he's listening to you, Tony said. Well, mom said you could teach us about viruses and I love learning, so I'm all ears too. Debbie was happy to, that her brothers trusted her and were willing to listen. Great, viruses are itsy bitsy things that get into your bodies and make more of themselves. Huh, itsy bitsy things that can get into your body and make more of themselves make more of themselves. I can't make more of myself. How do viruses do that? Do they use magic 
Jace asked while scratching his head. Hmm. Debbie chuckled. Not exactly, Jace. Viruses aren't alive like you and me, so they don't have brains to make smart decisions. Take a look at this. Suddenly, a large image of a virus popped up on the television screen. Wow, Jay said. I thought you said they were itsy bitsy. They are. This is just a big picture of one so you can see it. They're way too small for us to see with our eyes. Debbie said, and inside of them, inside of them, they have DNA and RNA, which give the viruses their instructions. Tony walked to the toy box and grabbed a small basketball. Yep, DNA and RNA are kind of like a recipe that tell ourselves what to do and how to do it. Think about it like this. Imagine you're at school and your teacher gives you a piece of paper, huh, with instructions. You would read the instructions and do what they tell you to do. DNA and RNA are kind of like that. They are cells, or they tell the cells what to do. Jace tucked his knees up into his chest and hid under the covers. Oh, these viruses are scary. I bet they have sharp teeth and, and big eyes. Maybe if I hide, they won't be able to find me and use my RNA and my and use their RNA in my cells. Debbie smiled lovingly at her brother. Jace, you don't have to be scared. They don't have teeth or, or eyes. And I can teach you how to keep yourself safe from most viruses. It's a very easy thing to do. Huh, Jace was so scared he was tucked up in his bed with his knees pulled all the way to his chest, trying to hide from the viruses. But Debbie said she's gonna teach them how to fight back. Jace poked his head out from under the covers. Really? What is it? Like lightning, Debbie dashed out the bedroom. Scratching his head, Jace looked at Tony, hmm, and said, I wonder where she's going. Maybe she's tired of teaching us, Tony replied while shooting the mini basketball <laughs> into the goal next to the bedroom door. Three shots later, Debbie poked her head back into the room. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, here we come. Where is she taking them? She's gonna teach them how to fight viruses, huh? Ten, 10 seconds later, the brothers found themselves standing in front of the bathroom sink <laughs> next to their sister. What are we doing in the bathroom? Jace asked, I don't need to go potty. <laughs> Debbie reached forward and grabbed the soap bottle. Here, put out your hands. As the boys stretched out their hands, she squirted soap onto them. The very best way to make sure viruses don't get you sick is to make sure you don't get the virus or spread it to someone else. To do that, we have to stay clean. Aha, oh, I get it, Tony said, while scrubbing the soap intensely on his hands. If I touch a virus, I should wash my hands to get it off. Debbie nodded. Exactly. You should wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Do you wash your hands for 20 seconds? You can count to 20. <laughs> yeah. But not only when you touch a virus, you should also wash your hands before eating, after going potty, or after shaking someone's hand who may be sick. Those are all the times you should wash your hands. After washing his hands for 20 seconds, Jace grabbed a small towel to dry them. But what about when you already have the virus? Isn't it too late to wash it off? How do you get rid of them? Tony responded as they walked back to the bedroom. I, I think most viruses go away on their own. Debbie touched her chin and began to think, 
Well, that's not completely true. God made our bodies in a way that we can fight viruses. They don't really leave there on their own. We destroy them. Jace raised his hands to his chest as if he was in a karate movie and started fighting off imaginary bad guys. Yeah, he screamed. I'll beat up those little viruses. <laughs> Debbie giggled. Not that type of fighting. We have special types of cells in our body called white blood cells. Their job is to fight off viruses and other infections. Hmm, Jace's shoulders slumped down in disappointment. Hmm, well, if our white blood cells aren't doing karate, how do they beat up the viruses? Debbie pointed to the television with antibodies. Do you know what an antibody is? Let's find out. With our auntie's bodies, which one of our aunties? <laughs> Jace asked curiously. Our auntie's bodies? Which one of our, our aunties? Tony slapped Jace on the shoulder in a playful manner. No, Jace, not auntie's bodies. She said antibodies. Debbie nodded. Yep, antibodies. The white blood cells make these and they stick to the outside of the virus. It's kind of like calling for help. When a virus has an antibody on it, other white blood cells know it's bad and they shouldn't be inside the body. So they attack and destroy it. See the white blood cells? And those little things attaching to the virus are the antibodies. And they're sort of like a call for help. Come on, white blood cells. This dude right here is bad and shouldn't be here. So they destroy it. Wow. We're learning how white blood cells in our body fight viruses. They make antibodies, not antibodies, antibodies. And the antibodies stick to the virus and say, right here, destroy this. That's pretty fancy. Tony smiled, that's cool. It's as if they're little ninjas calling other ninja bodies to help beat up the bad guy. Jace let out another sneeze and choo! This time he remembered to turn away and cover his mouth with the inside part of his elbow. Just like that. Choo! That's how we're supposed to sneeze. But what if your white blood cells lose the fight? Does that mean the virus wins? Debbie shook her head, no. Most of the time, our white blood cells win. But if they don't, we can get help from a family medicine doctor or an infectious disease specialist. I bet you know what that is. It's a doctor who specializes in fighting infectious disease, an infectious disease specialist. Sometimes they have special medicines that can help us beat the virus. Tony looked at Jace. Hmm, all right, bro, you need to get some rest so you can feel better. One thing I do know is that getting good sleep and rest can help your white blood cells do a better job fighting the virus. He turned to Debbie, let's go so Jace can take a nap. Yes, getting rest is important. That's what helps those white blood cells fight the virus. <laughs> By dinner time that evening, Jace was already feeling much better. Mom, he said, thanks for having Debbie teach us about viruses. She's super smart. Yes, she is, Mom replied. You all are. Jace, Dad said, I'm glad you're feeling better. Your body did a great job fighting off that virus. Yep, Jace said. My antibodies were working hard. 
Dad smiled. Wow, you kids really are smart. Remember to keep learning so you can get smarter and help people. And that goes for you too. Keep learning, keep reading so you can get smarter than you already are so you can help people. Oh, this was a good story about viruses. <laughs> we learned about the little white blood cells in the body that are sort of like ninjas calling their ninja body buddies to come and fight those viruses. It was good. Well, it's about time to go. But, oh, wait, don't forget, we got to have a quiz. I love quizzes. Are you ready? Let's review what we learned about viruses. First question, I know you'll know it. What do DNA and RNA do? Do you remember? It's sort of like if your teacher were to hand you a sheet with, oh, instructions on it. Instructions from the DNA and RNA to the virus. And it's gonna tell the virus what to do. Oh, that's so good. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. That's what that stands for. RNA, ribonucleic acid. That's what that stands for. Oh, you're so smart. Question number two. How long should you wash your hands to kill all those viruses? How long? Yes, 20 seconds. And I know we can all count to 20. And sometimes people will sing a song for 20 seconds just to make sure they're washing both sides and in between and even in your fingernails all around your hand, just like a surgeon. <laughs> yes, yes. And how do our bodies get rid of viruses? Who are our ninja fighters? What type of cell? A white blood cell. Yes, yes. And the white blood cells send out, not your auntie's bodies, antibodies. And the antibodies attach to the virus and say, this dude right here, attack. And the white blood cells attack the virus. You got it down. You're an expert in immunology. Yes, and what is the name of the doctor that's a specialist that fights these diseases? An infectious disease doctor. You got it all right. Excellent job. We've learned so much about viruses, and now we have all the information to fight. So wear your mask. If you're sick or around someone that's sick, Cover your nose and your mouth, and whatever you do, don't take your mask off to sneeze. Keep it on. All right, it's been great fun, everyone. Be sure to subscribe and tell all your friends about Glamour Dr. Tony. We love reading. <laughs>